Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of The Young Farmer. My name is Andy, and this morning it is beautiful, as you can see here. Uh, we have, well, we started baling straw last night. Um, yesterday, you saw us carting barley, winter barley, and today, late last night, I actually got a start. I got one of the smaller fields done. Um, there's one more field left to do that belongs to the um, contract to the customer and then I actually bought the other field so we're gonna have a look at that have a look at the straw on there and then we need to think about getting that all bailed up as well uh, but we're back at the yard um, put some good hours in yesterday actually so we're just making sure the tractors all good to go getting it all serviced up and then once it's all serviced up ready to go we can look into uh, yeah, getting ourselves underway. There's a bit of a breeze so it's drying everything off quite nicely today uh, any dew or moisture in the soil should, should remove itself pretty quickly with this breeze and the sun is coming up and it's, everything's looking good um, as you can see our spring crops are coming along very nicely actually this recent sun really kicked them on in fact if I open this up a little bit we can go oh well oh, hang on a second is this what I think it is? Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, look at this! So, um, something I didn't tell you about, I have been speaking with our local uh, dealer, our class dealer, because I've been hankering for a demonstration of another machine. And good lord, would you look what we have here. We have received the class action, ladies and gentlemen. Just a demonstration, not very long, but then I asked them, I was riding my luck a little bit. I asked if I could get it with a machine on the back to give it a good go, and he's only got me found me a bale chaser. Absolutely magnificent. So we're uh, we're going to speak to the dealer, speak to the driver. Don't know how he's getting back home, but we'll have a uh, chat with him, and then we'll have a look around the tractor, I suppose. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. We have got a Heath bale chaser. That's just kind of your standard big bale chaser. We'll get into that. But uh, we've got a class action 840 here with a bit of a bell pusher thing on the front, but this is magnificent. Uh, so this is significantly bigger, both in engine horsepower and size to what we have on the Arian. But uh, this is something that I'd want to look to if if I get to the stage where I can afford to expand into a new car, uh, new tractor. I'd like to get something this size so we can venture up in the in the fleet size and the equipment size we have. I want a heavier tractor for heavy cultivations. Uh, and I want something that's a bit more stable um, on the baler as well because the, the Arian can power it but it gets thrown around a little bit by the sheer size of this thing really and once that ram starts going in the middle it really does move around a lot so that would be ideal uh, so we are we're gonna have a play with this we've got it for a couple of days and what I think I might do I bailed, like I say yesterday, I bailed the first field about 16 acres of barley straw yesterday and I might just go and chase those bales up into a heap and see how they get on and just leave it there uh, and then they're out of the way so if the farm, if the customer wants to get in there and plow those fields over, he can, he's got free range to go in. Um, so with that in mind, I think we'll just shut this, uh, shut our, our shut up, we'll be back in here anytime soon. What I might do... By the time we, we get done with that, I might just bring the class back, the Aryan back, pop the baler onto the Aryan and just give the, uh, onto the Axiom Beggy pardon, I'm getting my classes mixed up, and then give the Aryan a bit of a rest and see how it goes, but that's cer certainly an option. Oh, I'm excited to get to this. It's a brute of a machine. Absolutely huge. So what we'll do, we'll just pull this, uh, pull it out of the main gateway and onto the road so we can get this all shut up and locked up and then we'll go over. Exactly the same setup as the Arian, so there's going to be no issues in terms of operation. Uh, we'll leave that there, just pop some hazard lights on. Yeah, we'll quickly get this done. But as I was saying there, you can see that as I walk up the footpath here, uh, the spring crops are coming through very well, looking fantastic actually. So probably in a couple of weeks we should be able to get into those. They're still they're being desiccated, but it's still going to be a good tip. Uh, 10 days, 2 weeks really I should say. Uh, but we'll shut that and we'll leave that there so we'll get cracking with it. Very excited to have a go at this. I mean, if we were ever to buy one of these, it is a demonstrator. This is not the one we bought unless we try to negotiate for the demonstrator and got a cheaper price. That might be advantageous. But uh, yeah, we will... Let's take this thing away and let's see how good it is. We've got a bale pusher on the front as well, so we should be able to fly through these Hestons all being well. 
And yeah, looking forward to having a good go of it really, to see what it can do for us. We'll take it back up here. Yield wise, I, we did very well. Uh, it got to the point yesterday where the um, I couldn't keep up on my own with just the one trailer. So um, the, for the contract, the farm brought in their own tractors and trailers that were kind of stuck on silage for the main part of the day. So they came in later on in the day there and were able to really just kind of give us a push and get ahead, which was much needed actually. And then with that, I was able to then just jump onto the baler. Uh, and now if I slow down here, uh, you can't quite see it there. It's hidden around the far side. But my, my trailer is um, tucked in there, still with a load of wheat in it as well, or a load of barley, sorry. So we need to get to that and, and bring it back at some point, but not in the immediate um, plans at least. Not whilst we've got a straw on the ground to bale. And yeah, we'll get that done hopefully soon and we'll be able to get it cracking. And around that corner. This stuff just feels so much bigger on the road here. It's a beautiful tractor. Really, really nice. So I think this comes in at approximately 230 horsepower, I believe. Certainly in that ballpark, I think. So more than enough to uh, for my needs here. It's more the weight that I'm desperate for, actually. A bigger tractor, just to, like I say, to be able to handle some of my equipment a bit better. Uh, if we did get this, I'd probably look at getting a loader to go onto the Ariane as well. So I'd have a loader tractor and something I can use. Um, but then, yeah, this would certainly allow us to grow, and not in terms of just number of vehicles in the fleet, but also the size of the equipment I can put on the back and I can operate efficiently. But yeah, I mean, putting the chaser on the back of here is a little bit too easy, but, uh, you know, I want to test it. We've got, like I say, got it for two days. I want to test it across a whole array of tasks. Uh, and so why not start with, with a bit of chasing? And so this field on the left, the first field we were in yesterday, as you can see, has been baled. Quite a good amount of straw on here, actually. And what we will do, it's right in front of us, so we're just gonna... We'll just unfold that there. There we go. see how it works and up it goes. I did have a little bit of a problem with the baler, it kept catching balers so as you can see some of them aren't really falling as they should do. Um, but that being said they fell down and you know the best thing is at least we got more bale, the nice and tight so there's a lot of temp uh, density there to each bale, a lot of weight without too much uh, moisture which is perfect. Uh, but what we'll do we're just going to go along in here and get these all picked up. Oh, perfect, look how well that works. Nicely done, and I think we're just stuck them in the corner for now, and then like I say, I don't know what the farm wants to do with these, so we can just leave them there until they have a decision, pretty much. Uh, get my speed down. Then we'll just give this one a tap, see if we can turn it around like that, just about do it. Nope, missed it. We got it up there. Two. I'm very interested actually, I've been doing a lot of research into controlled traffic farming and I certainly, uh, as you can see at the moment, this is not definitely not what we're doing, but I would very much like to get a bit more research into that and see if it's possible for my own land. Uh, I know I don't have the machinery to do that at the moment to a certain degree, I haven't just got the wide enough equipment to do it, but uh, it's certainly something I would se severely look into as a possibility uh, moving forward, but for now we'll just keep on chasing these. Uh, quite a few bales here, but we're going to get them all lined up, see how we do on this field, and then like I say, we'll go over there. Oh, I've missed that one. Let's just spin around. And we need to uh, get these all stacked up as well. Combine that is left in the field, you can just see between those two clumps of trees, the last one uh, there really, so we'll... Um, I don't know how long they plan to leave it there for, but they can, it's their own combine, they can get that back as and when they want. There we go. And uh, I think we've probably got about three more on there. Which 
will be ideal. So we'll get this done and then, yeah, let's go and just have a look, see how these stack up as well. So how are you all doing? I hope you're very well today. Hope you're having a great summer so far. Hope everything you've managed to get everything done that you need to. Uh, weather has been firmly on my side, at least at the moment. I've had a great spell recently, been able to get a lot of jobs done. Sun's been out, everything's drying out nicely. Uh, there's some grass growing again actually, so it shouldn't be too long until the um, foam starts going for some third, second cup silage. Um, which would be really good to see. Uh, that is that load done. Absolutely. So we'll fold it back in on the hydraulics. Now we just need to find a relatively flat area uh, that we can go and dump this in. Somewhere down in this corner I think will be best. And um, we'll be good to go. So at the moment, this field we're in, the field over the road, over the hedgerow, sorry, is for the customer. But the field that is ours is the one that the combine is stuck in at the moment. Um, and it's all been d it's all cut down. There's a fair whack of straw on there, and I'll be looking to get that off as soon as I can. But that's really good news to see, and uh, we're gonna uh, we haven't yet agreed a price there, but we need to have a look into that um, fairly soon. Uh, straw prices at the moment though are going through the roof, so we need to try and kind of think about what we'll do in terms of a price for that. Okay, and up there you go. That's an awfully quick hydraulic load, I must say. But we'll stack these in the corner here. And just like that we're done. Perfect. Nice and quick is exactly what we want to see here, so we're going to keep going. We might see if I can get some uh, photos and some film from outside, uh, but we'll see how we do. We've got lots to do, so we'll get cracking. number of bales on, or not many Heston bales on this field at least, but they're all stacked about the way at least. Nice little run with the heat place, it really makes short work of that, uh, which is uh, fantastic really. Uh, so what we're going to be looking at, um, we'll take this back to the yard, I think we're going to stick the baler on and we'll get this, the rest of this all baled up and looking good. Um, but yeah, right now as I said, we're just going to have a quick drive past the field that we uh, we're, we're looking at the straw and uh, just kind of look see how much is on there and then see how that's looking like. We'll bail that one last because I just want to get the contract work out of the way first, uh, as I think is only fair and right. Uh, so we'll go this way and then we'll shoot left. So, so far, I mean, uh, I've been doing a little bit of research and the price we're looking at really, uh, for this, for where we are here, we're looking at, well, uh, kind of in the region, it's getting expensive actually. A lot of the straw here is going straight over to Wales and it's really becoming quite expensive there. We're looking in the region about 80, 90 pounds a tonne uh, or per acre of straw in the swap. We're looking in the region to be honest about 80-90 pounds a ton, which is a lot of money. Um, 
So, at the moment we have just got to, I think that's what we'll be paying, we'll try and get it a little bit lower to lower end 75 maybe, if, considering we're bailing up ourselves. and uh, if we can get that then I'll be happy with that and we can still probably make a little bit of a turn up uh, in the profit. Now what we'll do is we'll just scoot in here, maybe pull that off the road a little bit. This chaser is quite long though. Go on there, open that door quick, that gate quickly. And there we go. Excellent, we'll pull this in here. So, yeah, like I say, this is the field that we have, um, we're looking to, to take over. As you can see, combine finished, we got this all done late last night. There's quite a bit of straw on here still. We will get around to bailing this up today, uh, which would be great. But yeah, it's all looking very good, and I'm very pleased with how it's come along, to be honest. And yeah, it should be nice to get that bailed out. Uh, what we will do, though, is I'm going to have a chat with the uh, with the farmer, see if we can get this all sorted out, see what Gary wants to do, and then we're going to take the class actually uh, on back to the yard. Stick the baler on it and we'll get out and do a little bit of baling and see how it come along. So we'll see you um, back in the field with the baler on. Ah, uh, we are rumbling down the field here. This is the biggest field. This one comes in a little over 27 acres, I think it is. Ah, uh, there or thereabouts at least. It took us a fair while to get through this. It was quite thick in places. Uh, but we are, we're getting this all baled up. There's varying amount of straw um, it, it starts out quite a lot down at the bottom end here as you get up onto the slightly lighter stone uh, stone your ground at the top of the hill there's not as much uh, key reason I wanted to put the axing onto the baler here is because we, as you can see we're working on quite a slope and it would have been pretty slow going up the hill with the axi with the Arion so um, with the small tractor there so if we put the slightly bigger tractor on we're doing all right here um, it's much more comfortable driving this than it is the smaller Arion. Really, really is. Makes it so much smoother of a ride. And like I said, it's not a power issue, it is just a sole um, comfort issue. Being a bit bigger, it doesn't get bossed around anywhere near as much as the um, as the smaller Arion did. Um, but yeah, so it's another good plus point for it. It would be very nice to see uh, kind of what we could do with this from a finance perspective but um, it's something to think about for the time being if nothing else in the meantime though we're going to keep rumbling on we've got plenty to get up uh, we'll hopefully I mean so just before midday now so we'll get this field done today uh, and definitely our field over there that's going to be our straw now we have I've spoken to Gary about that we've agreed on the price of £77 a tonne which we both know is generous um, on his part it's a little bit less than perhaps it was but at the same time he's making money off it and I'm getting the, the field cleared very quickly so he can come in he's putting a uh, winter oilseed rape into here so he wants it cleared nice and quickly uh, so that is all good news and we're, we'll get it all flying with that chase we're going to keep hold for a couple of days we'll be able to um, work on with that as well uh, which is excellent so it's all been gonna well, it's all gonna work out for the best for us uh, the work keeps coming in as well, and uh, yeah, all very happy with that. Probably in the next couple of days, um, next week or so, we'll look to schedule in the combine come to hit our spring uh, barley, spring wheat, uh, and that'd be nice to get that one ticked off the list as well. So it's if the sun keeps up, we're going to be busy, but we're going to get a lot of things done over the, the next week or so, uh, and that's all we can ask for, really. Um, elsewhere, though, everything else is coming along very nicely. I hope you're all doing very well as well uh, and I would like to say at this point thank you ever so much for all the new subscribers welcome along if you have just recently subscribed to Simulation for the Nation he always asks that I ask you to drop a comment down below with where you're watching from and what you're getting up to um, he'd always like to know so if you are new just stick it down below and we will see what we can do always try and think of a way to mention you guys and just thank you all really for sticking along with Simulation for the Nation and um, yeah uh, everything else is looking good so Stick, out, stick an eye out uh, for future episodes, you never know what might happen with this beast we're in here. Uh, you might just see a new arrival to the fleet one day. But uh, we're a little bit far away from that at the moment and besides, I haven't got time to sit and study the books and see if it's possible because we just need to keep working uh, and keep cracking on. Uh, which we will do! And we're getting through it now. 
Baylor's singing along, nice and tuned up. Got morning service today where we um, blew out all the straw dust and re-greased everything. Restocked the um, twine boxes, so it's got plenty of Baylor twine in it. And we'll be able to keep going now for at least all of today. Uh, which is always good, and um, barring any mishaps or any unfortunate breakdowns, we'll keep flying through. We'll get this done in the next hour or so, really. Um, we'll get this field done maybe in the next hour, and then we'll get moved on. Uh, so at this stage, though, what I will do is I will end it here. So thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation. And we will see you in the next one. So from myself, Andy, have a good day. Take care of yourself. Enjoy what you're doing, but most importantly... Happy farming.